clicking go live preparing well, to stream stream it. live stream the meeting live stream are we streaming it's still setting up according to mine yeah. meeting is now streaming live on youtube okay. go Oh, you just had a nap. Why are you so tired, Furby? Wake up. (laughs) There we go. (laughs) Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, rude. <laughs> All right, what else, we, what else do we have for a robot test? Mm. Goggle test. Are your goggles working? <laughs> oh, Burby. All right, goggles are working. <clears throat> we got Furby, we got Furby's buddy, Terminator Furby. Right. That was a pretty good one. Party! Woohoo! <laughs> good one. Oh, I got a good one. Also, uh, who, who else do we have as a special guest tonight? We have Mr. Spur. That name again is Mr. Spur. Hey, Mr. Spur. Howdy! Woohoo! <laughs> right. I cannot figure out how to put on. Oh, we're just captions, captions, we got to close captions. Yeah. View and live control room. All right. So we're just getting the subtitle set up. And uh, at the same time, we'll do a couple more robots. Oh, and this guy, this guy, this guy. I don't know if I can do him without fires because he broke last week. Oh. But we can try. Okay. Okay, hang on. Ah. Okay. I'll use my fire fingers. Oh, I don't want to create a highlight. Who else is here? Oh, yeah, man. A good friend. Actually, we really have a good friend in the lab. Commander Data is coming on a 30 today. Wee! <laughs> On Furbinator. Furbinator. He, was, he tried to get an exocomp, but they were all busy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Furby. <laughs> so uh, we we've got a new a new camera tonight, and um, this is part of part of pre show, and we'll show you. Um, so Commander Data here, he has, he has access panels. To look in at his circuitry, and uh, let me just uh, pull, pull it up on uh, on super close up cam. All right, I'm gonna pin suit add pin. Doo-doo. Data's control panel, which is a digital microscope. Anyway, we can see all of the nano circuitry in there. You can see all the synaptic pathways. And uh, you know, at any time the data is uh, interfacing with the um, with the holodeck and um, and that type of thing. Oh, nice. Let's see what a little robot does. Hang on. Okay. Nice. Okay. So now that we got. So data could probably hang out in here and he could have, is it data or is it lore? It's hard to say. Oh, I thought I saw the corner of his mouth turn up slightly. Oh, but was that tech programmed or was it copied? Well, lore, he's got 
emotions. Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, Laura's a pretty wily guy, though. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goggle test. Goggles are still working. <laughs> Closed captions. Do, 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 do. Just Almost. don't know. We're working on it. I just don't know. Still working on it. Okay, okay. So, Furby, you go hang out over here for a minute. Terminator Furby can hang out over there. Oh, yeah. What, what? Minion test. <laughs> I didn't bring any toys to try out. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, some, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab uh, Robbie Jr. You Are know? you going to tell everyone about our upcoming Robbie Jr. project? Upcoming Robbie Jr. project. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is unofficial, but it's going to happen because it's official. So uh, McLean's been in hanging out in the makerspace. And he's like, oh. So I, said, I think we should hack this 80s robot. And we tried to plug him in and he went so squirrely and just kind of started spewing out all of these odd lines of like speech, but not properly and going wacky. So we're going to take out all of his 80s circuitry and we're going to put in the brain of one of our K8 robots that um, Inksmith uh, sells. So he's going to be the same as our K8 robots that we usually run programs around. And you'll be able to program them and have them operate exactly the same way. Woohoo! Hack the robot, hack the robot, hack the robot. Check it out. And hopefully we'll get some voices going in. He's got a lot of really crazy circuits in there. So hopefully we'll be able to get his eyes glowing again. Hack the bot. Hack the bot. I oh yeah, know. maybe I'll bring us snacks once you get them running again. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I'm Robbie Jr. Where am I? Okay, I okay. got the closed captions. Nice. We have closed captions. If anybody has one of these or had one of these as a kid, like throw it in the comments and um, tell us your favorite memories of Robbie Jr. Or any of the Tommy robots specifically would be would also work. Yeah, let's check. Let's yeah. check the chat. Check the Is chat, anybody check here? The chat. Check the chat. Uh, if you are here and you are watching, we're checking the chat. Say hello. Oh, all right. So watching one. Yeah. Oh. 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 All right. Nothing so far in the chat. All right. So, nothing so far in the chat. We'll bring her up. Okay. Cool. Um. Did you tell actually tell them about this camera? No. Like you. What is you? What is that? <laughs> What's under your fingernails? Sweet. That's maker dust. <laughs> make her dust. Ooh, where's my? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my. Uh, check out all the scratches in my ring. Wow, that's a lot of scratches. Anyway, this is a digital microscope, and we can pump it into. Uh, we can pump it into anything. It's also got a screen on it, and just uh, kind of playing with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, check out the. It's not very well lit at the moment. But... I think you can. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Might have to focus. I do it's... definitely have to change the focus on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. Giant. Ooh, that's and... my part. Nice. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna pop open. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Go back in, double check the chat, say something. Is there anybody in there? Hello, 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 hello. Is there anybody in there? Exactly. You got it. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Got your reference. Wow. Okay. Let's see. It's six thirty. Is it six thirty? Yeah. Time okay. to roll. Time to roll. Let's roll. All right. I hope that somebody. I hope somebody <laughs> watching in the in, in the chat will leave you with uh, Commander Data's head and. Uh, Gonna go ahead and grab this video. Go ahead. Go ahead. If that's what you want. Okay. Yes. Hello, Mulligans. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Welcome to Make It Live. Make It Live. I'm Liz. Eric in Goggles. And we are in the Stratford Public Library Makerspace. This place rocks. So, Eric, Make It Live. What is this show? What is this show? Okay. So, Make It Live is a show that we do from the Makerspace explaining what's in the Makerspace and kind of going into some really fun projects and things that we really like doing in here. And the summer's coming which is kind of my favorite time in the maker space because people just kind of come in and hang out and they don't have to worry about school and they just make stuff like stickers and vinyl cuts and 3D prints and they get to build a whole bunch of really awesome stuff. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so uh, today we're gonna talk about the vinyl cutter. The vinyl cutter. Do, 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 do. And we're going to talk about the heat press. And we're going to talk about ink, homemade ink out of foraged materials. And we're going to make monster cards. Monster cards. Have you, got, have you made monster cards before today? Like, is this your first time? Today? Yeah. Uh, this is the first time that I made monster cards, yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah, how about you? I think I think I have made monster cards before. Really? Yeah, I think I remember making monster cards and we made we, we used a stamp pad and we made thumbprints and then drew drew monsters onto the thumbprints. I feel like I've done that before, yeah. but not necessarily greeting card themed. Oh, uh, they were yeah, but definitely cards. little thumbprint <laughs> monsters. <laughs> <laughs> guys yeah, yeah which fun. if you want to you can come to the makerspace and do that absolutely yeah and then turn them into buttons or Ooh, uh, would that be fun yeah that'd be cool. some buttons some buttons some buttons or fridge magnets or t-shirts t-shirts yes <laughs> you can because you can take a picture of something that you drew and put it onto a t-shirt and do you know how i know that because i did that today Woo. Woo. so these are contour drawings that i did with my uh partner kelsey and we reduced the amount of time that we were spending on each drawing so they get progressively simpler sloppier maybe <laughs> um and this summer i'm planning on doing a maker jam like an evening virtu virtual program where people can draw a picture or come to the program with a picture that they already drew 
and then use Silhouette Studio, which we'll show you today, to put it onto a t-shirt as I have done today. Yeah, so uh, yeah, the, the cutting machine, like what, it, it does t-shirts. Yeah. And it cuts out paper. Yeah. And it cuts out vinyl, so you can make your own stickers. Yeah. Yeah. What else does it do? Oh, we did pop-up cards. Pop-up cards, cards does cool. it. So it's basically a machine. You have some really simple design software. You feed in your input, your pictures, or your lettering, and it, it makes a what's its noise? Yeah. <laughs> It sounds something like this. <laughs> yeah, that's about what it sounds like. It sounds just like that, yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so it cuts lots of things. We've, we tried cutting other things with it. Yeah. Um, like wood panel and... Yeah, we... Yeah. Fabric. Fabric. We did some shadow puppety stuff. Yeah, you can do some fabric on it. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a lot of fiddling. You can also cut fabric with scissors. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think the big thing is we often get asked about the machine and they're like, oh, is that a cricket? And it's like, well, it's a cutting machine. Our, our machine's called a silhouette. And I think Cricket's kind of like it's kind of like Kleenex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just it's yeah. It's the Coca Cola of col of cutting machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> so kind of the big difference between the two, they both cut things. They both cut a whole bunch of different types of things. They both have their own individual components, but that uh, like Cricket has specific Cricket vinyl and Cricket has specific Cricket things. And, so and like a specific cricket store, and you have to buy things from that. I don't know. There's something. There's something in the news that is quite proprietary. That's yeah. Quite so, but the the materials basically, you can put just about any materials through it through either machine as long as you figure out how to dial in the settings, which is a little bit yeah, trial and error. Trial and error, but um, not too bad. And the only thing that we don't like about the cricket machine is it has a proprietary software, so you need to have their specific software to make it work and they have some weird licensing things with it so do Whereas you, silhouette is free silhouette's free anybody can download it so if you want to come into the maker space uh with your designs ready to go you download silhouette studio at home and work on your designs at home come into the maker space cut your stuff good to go yeah 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 it's cool yeah so they're both awesome one's a little bit more friendly yeah i think so that's a good if you've already got one come in and we'll teach you how to use either yeah absolutely. if you have a cutting machine at home and you don't quite know how to use it bring it in come, oh, bring it in or come in <laughs> and you learn the software also we have two that you can borrow anytime just come and talk to us about that mm -hmm. and heat presses if you want to make t-shirts you can bring this home Yay, Perth Community Futures. Thank you. Thank you, Perth Community Futures. You are amazing. Perth Community Futures has sponsored many of our maker kits, and they're just phenomenal resources to be able to take home. Yes. So if you are interested in starting a small business, get in contact with them because they are such a good resource. Yeah. yeah. Should we do a quick little like What's Silhouette? I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was going to just mention that we do have a paid version of Silhouette here in the makerspace on certain computers. Um, and what you can do with that is transform your Silhouette designs into 3D printable objects. What? <laughs> so you mean I can design something in Silhouette Studio and 3D print it? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Which is so cool. And... Um, Another maker jam that I'm planning for the summer is making earrings, 3D printing earrings. Oh, and yeah. we're going to be doing the designs in Silhouette Studio and then transferring them over to Tinkercad um, in order to 3D print those. Those those earring samples you did were really cool and super easy. Yeah, so yeah. easy. Okay, so I'm going to just quick share Silhouette Studio. So this is Silhouette Studio and basically all that it is 
is this is a cutting mat. It's your um, shows you what your layout's going to look like. Uh, I have a whole bunch of shapes on the sides, and I can generate my own shapes, so squares and hearts and you know things like that. But easy peasy. Want to type something? Press the A icon, click on the mat, and now we can type my name. Done. I can take my name and I can make it bigger. Tells you how big it is. Bigger, smaller. You can also change it by font size. And you can select your favorite font. What's your favorite font? Well, Times New Roman or Lego Bricks. Sometimes. Lego Bricks. The Jedi font's pretty good. Uh, Blippo, which is the Playmobil. Oh, and you can download a whole bunch of free fonts from... Daffont. 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 Yes, and mm -hmm. install those on your computer and use them in your designs, which I highly recommend doing. Other really cool thing that Silhouette will do, so we were talking about um, bringing in your drawings, so the drawings that Liz did, she did with a, with a heavy marker. So you just want something that's black and white, contrasty, like this guy here. And I'm going to say, I found him on the net. I'm going to say, select trace area. Trace, everything that's yellow is going to get trace. Hit trace. Bam, I got a cut line. What? That's it? Yep. That looked very easy, Eric. And now I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Super easy to do, super easy to learn. Uh, but we can still help you anytime that you need to. And if I want to now, when we export this, we can bring it right into Tinkercad and turn it into 3D. So cool. Bam. Yeah. So I can make a little 3D <clears throat> monster just like that to stand on my desk. Yeah, let me see if I got Tinkercad. Stop, share, reshare. Stop, share, reshare. Tinkercad, share. Da, 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 da. Okay, tinker this. <clears throat> so when I ex import it right in, sorry, I didn't have that loaded up. I've got an Eric mobile. And when I hit, so all this was was my basic cut line right from, right from Silhouette. When I hit stop share, bam. There, it's in t-shirt form. What? Wow, that is so cool. Oh, and hang on. <laughs> or oh. water bottle form. What? Wow. What? Same design. Woo! Cool. That's so cool. And that was like... Is that your logo? At the moment. It's one of them. <laughs> I think I'm going to do, on my model boats, I'm going to do Eric Mobile Shipping. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> in certain circles. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like awesome. if anybody, if anybody played with Playmobil when they were kids or adults. Uh, yeah. Or both. Or both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that's kind of so what studio. It's super easy and you can make awesome things. Oh, a little monster uh, with two layers of vinyl. Way. So I just did two different cuts and stuck them together. Which we're going to do, actually, yeah. this summer in the Maker Jams with iridescent vinyl. Nice. Yeah. I should get those up on the website so people can sign up. Good call. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So um, I wanted to show you guys today some homemade ink, actually. So... Yeah, so um, I made a little segment that we're going to watch in a second, but I just want to show you um, this ink. I put it into a dropper bottle, which is nice because then you can use a brush or you can uh, drip drop it with your little dropper tool there. This is um, made out of black walnuts that I foraged from the Cooper site. So hopefully it's not radioactive. Just kidding, it's not. It smells it's like fun. cloves. <laughs> yeah, it smells like the preservative I put into it, which is cloves. Um, so that's an ink that I made, and um, I'm going to show you how I did that in this video that I'm going to play right now. This is not the right video. This is oh. 
<laughs> We're going to just stop that video for a second. Hang on. Just kidding, everyone. Guess who's here? It's Commander Data's head. <laughs> there it is. Here we go. Here. <clears throat> Nice, that was super cool. Cool. Yeah, so um, one thing that I should say, uh, just before you guys go out and start foraging, is uh, if you decide to do that, is um, make sure that you have the permission of the people um, who are stewarding or own the land before you go ahead and do that. <laughs> um, you can't just take things. <laughs> um, you have to check with people first. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's always a good but, idea. Right? You know, if you, yeah, maybe maybe you can find somebody who's got walnuts and wants them help help picking them up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or acorns yeah. or grapevines, um, for Ooh. example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the book that I was using um, to learn how to make ink, and they have lots and lots and lots of different colors in here, um, including some that you'll see a little bit later on, and. Um, one that I'm going to be making is called Vine Black Ink, and that is made out of charcoal that you can make out of grapevines. And so that's what I did. These little charcoal sticks are something that I actually made myself in my fire pit. Cool. And uh, so you can use them for drawing or you can use them to make some really cool foraged ink. I think we should, should we do extreme close up? <laughs> okay, sure. Do it. Do it. All right. All right. Let's see what All right. this looks like. Extreme close-up. Whoa. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah. All right. So it looks like get... it's just absorbing light. Okay, I, got it. I got excited again. That's okay. No, I think it's quite cool. Because <laughs> it's dark. Yeah, it's it's maybe a bit too dark um, for extreme close-up, but um, you can come and look at it in the makerspace extremely close-up if you would like. Absolutely. Yes. So, um, uh, and then just another note is, um, so the silver color that you saw in the book is not what we ended up with when I made the acorn cap ink. Um, and so you just have to know that uh, the color you get really depends on the things that you add to it or the type of water that you're using. So 
if you live in Stratford, for example, we have hard water. And so that's going to make a difference for your ink, as is the amount of, for example, vinegar or salt or alum, which is a mineral that you can add as like a mordant. Um, all of those things are going to change the color of your ink. So that's what's kind of fun about it is that it's different every time. Nice. Yeah. So I'll show you the next segment. It's about um, just testing and filtering the ink. Totally cool. Yeah. So um, with each of my inks, I add a preservative, which I happen to use a clove because I had those at home already. Um, you can also use wintergreen oil, Ooh, which apparently has some powerful uses. Powerful uses. Oil, wintergreen. Yeah, you can use it as a, if you've got really stuck, seized, um, rusty bike parts or like metal, metal, metal to metal, uh, threaded parts. It'll it's so metal. It's so metal. <laughs> It'll, uh, it'll, you just kind of put a couple drops on, leave it for a few days and then come back and maybe a few more. And it's stripped paint off the one bike frame I was working on. I couldn't believe it. Like that's not a good use of it, but wow. That's powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Cool. Yeah. So, um, that'll keep, because it's a natural ink, uh, there is a tendency if you're not careful for it to mold, some of it you have to keep in the fridge. Um, and so that's what the preservative is for. Um, and then you also probably saw me add this uh, gum arabic, which is a thickener. It comes from the bark of trees. You can get this or a liquid version I saw at Lowe's in their art supplies. Um, and then the other thing, that pot that you're, that you're seeing in the videos, I use that only for ink making and dyeing. So um, don't use the same pot to cook your food in. <laughs> and uh, mm. Ask someone before you take a pot. <laughs> yes. Go to the thrift shop and buy an old pot. Yeah. Get one from somewhere. Yeah. 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 You can get um, secondhand pots <clears throat> really, really affordably. So just go ahead and do that. Don't use um, the best pots in your household for that. Because <laughs> they won't be the same afterwards. Um, yeah. So uh, what can you do with homemade eggs? Well, I will show you just a few of the designs that I've done over the over time. Um, so this sort of thing, you can see like the inks all mixed together and do really sort of like neat things. You can see the various colors there. So um, that like orangey pink color is avocado. Super cool. The purple is from a bug called cochineal. They use that a lot in uh, commercial dyes as well. The green that you can see is from purple flowers in my garden, irises and hyacinths. Um, 
And so, and I think the other one is the acorn cap. So you can get lots of different colors depending on what you're using and you can mix in as well other types of materials. So this one I used um, some food coloring with as well as some um, acrylic paint. It's not quite auto focusing, boom. Anyway. You sort of get the idea. Um, so acrylic paint and uh, to give it that sparkle and then some food dye as well. And then you can also make like actual like some fish. 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 And this guy. So when you made your fish, did you draw your fish around what was already there, or did you kind of plan to do a fish? I planned. I planned to do a fish. For these ah, ones. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So some of it, like these sort of, um, these ones are a little more serendipitous. You know, like the patterns just happen. These ones we actually planned ahead, and uh, this one Kelsey painted a uh, huku huku numu 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 huku. <laughs> You'll have to see it at the end of the show. I got it. I got it on video. So if you wait after the credits, you will see me say it correctly. <laughs> huma huma nuku nupu apua a, the national fish of Hawaii. Awesome. Yeah, boom. And then um, also you can make like making a book cover, for example, We've got the pages in here, that cover, that nice. is gonna be a book someday. Super cool. Yeah. And then we'll show you, um, we're gonna show you in a second, um, something else you can do with them. We're gonna make some cards afterwards. Nice. Monster cards. Monster cards. <laughs> okay, so this segment is just a quick one on what you can do with ink. Yeah, short morning. friends in the makerspace <laughs> like this guy super awesome yeah so how do we do that does that did, like that's just wild <laughs> like so liz made let's see if we can cut it so we put some monster designs in where's is this uh is this this one no nope. that's do you have that, that guy's in here oh, oh, oh yeah so i cut this one out of vinyl first two layer vinyl and then liz took the same guy oh pop-up card, pop -up card. <laughs> nice. and who else is this uh so we've got this <clears throat> little monster I have their eyeballs still that we can stick on. Nice, nice. Yeah, and this one. <laughs> and, and then who do you have? Okay, I did. I did. Okay, where's Skycam? Uh, Skycam. Yeah, let's go Skycam. Skycam. So in Skycam, we're gonna use some of these little sticky bits. So I'm just gonna do these little foamy. I love these little foamy sticky discs. They're like. 
double sided tape. Da, 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 da. The adhesive on them is pretty strong. It's really strong. I've had some of uh, some of the big 3M ones, and we had them holding glass blocks together, and the glass blocks broke trying to get them apart. Oh my goodness. It was scary. <laughs> Doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> So the neat thing is then it's a little bit, it's like, it looks like one of those super pro cards that's slightly left, slightly elevated. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick in. So I cut out the mouth shape like that. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna flip it sideways. And I'm gonna give it my tongue because <laughs> that's hilarious. So now he's got, got a little puffy tongue. And I think some eyeball bits are different. So this is a really fun thing that you can do and it's something you can do quickly. And if you've got the design made up that you like already, you know, you can reuse it. Let's turn his eyeball kind of. Let's do it a little bit off center like that, which would be fun. And then maybe, ah, I like that one, just like that. Blah. <laughs> Hilarious. Awesome. Yeah. And then you can put in your own message on the card on the inside. And you could even do that in vinyl if you want. Nah. <laughs> Just print it. What's yours looking like? Oh, so I've got this on the front there. It's uh, raised up like a, I don't know, like what are these? Four millimeters, five millimeters? Mm. You could get the count? No. <laughs> And then I'm going to put his eyeballs in. Um, oh, sweet. But also, I wanted to show you guys how I made the pop up card because it's also oh, yeah. pretty easy and pretty cool. Um, so, this one, it, it doesn't pop out very far, um, but you can see it's got just a little bit more. Um, uh, what's that called? Just a little bit more depth. Yes, depth. Um, and all I did to do that was I took a card, I folded it in half. I cut these pieces out. So two little slits. I opened it up and then you pop the slits out. And the reason I designed it this way is because uh, that monster in particular has two little legs. Sometimes you can do just one in the middle, depending on your design. Um, and then that's where the monster sits on the card. And then you'd have to cut out one because he's a little bit taller, cut one out here to stick to the back as well. And then, um, the back of your card is going to look a little bit like this. So you just take another piece of cardstock, stick that on. I left a little border on mine to make it look a little cuter. And then uh, just glue that down and you've got a cute little pop-up card, easy peasy. And if you wanted to print out, uh, print out a message on the card first, you can run the photo right through the photocopier here or your printer at home. And then when you fold it over, it looks super pro. Yeah. Or you could vinyl cut out of the cardstock and stick that on with these tabs. What? Yeah. So super cool. Yeah. Absolutely. And like you could put anything in it. It doesn't have to be a monster. It could be anything. It could be a monster, <laughs> it, but it could be anything. It could be a monster if you wanted. Oh, yeah. You got the eyeballs. I got a bag of eyeballs here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and balls. you can also, you can use uh, markers to decorate these. You can stick some paper clouds in the background, whatever you so want to do. Cool. Yeah, you've got options. UFOs. UFOs and monsters. Yeah. So while I finish sticking my eyeballs on. Yeah. Do you want to show them the rest of your t-shirts? Oh, yeah. So I had the first one, Eric Bobo, which is really fun. Love it. Love that shirt. Oh, one thing I would have done with this one if I did it again, see how this was a little bit solid? I would have done that, all the white cutouts as an outline so that it wasn't so uh, sweaty against my chest. Uh, <clears throat> and this is one of my other favorite ones. Do, 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 do. Model boat signs, hilarious. Do you like model boats? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're one of my, what, one, one of my favorite hobbies. 
Anyway, did that one up in Silhouette Studio of a sign that I found that I really like? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, Monster's done. Sweet. Oh, you know what? I don't think anybody saw your shirts because we're spotlighting uh, Skycam. Oh, I thought. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's try again. I, I looked at the wrong screen. All right. Shirt. 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 Oh, shirt. <laughs> awesome. Hilarious. And Eric Mobile again. Eric Mobile. Cut out the top slightly differently. Let the t-shirt color show through. Still fun. Ah, I forgot to show everybody the close-up of the ink. Oh, yeah. Extreme close-up. Whoa! Extreme close-up of the ink. Okay. Let's get this pick in focus. Good, yeah, pick a good spot. Mm. Are you muted? Mm -hmm. Start speaking. Mm. Oh, uh, I, I don't. My mic's your mic, so we're good. All right. Yeah. So, up close. Up close and personal. Cool. Look at all the look at all the little bits and pieces in there. That's just awesome. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Cool. Love it. Let's see where it's all. That's way more exciting than data set and control panel. <laughs> just saying. Uh, yeah. So close up ink. Super nice. cool. Yeah. So there's our monster cards. There's our t-shirts. Cool. Yeah. So I think what's new in the maker space? What's new in the maker space? Well, I've already given you guys a hint about uh, what's coming this summer. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Eric got a new book today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for anyone who follows uh, our gaming books and, uh, and game night and our blaster series, number four blaster. Woo! Woo! What this is, is all, um, Independent, independently produced games. You don't need to go out and buy pieces for them. There's most of the rules that you need to play in here and it's just awesome. Yeah, really good artwork too. Anyway. Yeah, do you wanna promo, uh, do you wanna tell people about game night, what you guys do? One game night left, but- um, Ever? I, one game night left for the summer. <laughs> Uh, game night we do sometimes we learn the basics of D&D &D. sometimes we build scenery for tabletop gaming so if you play like a Warhammer or something like that and you want to do buildings you want to make rocks you want to make trees or if you want to learn how to 3D print miniatures but you can come into the makerspace anytime and do all of those things anyway but we do that once a month and we create some pretty awesome stuff and we make our own games it's totally fun that sounds totally fun. Yeah. And all summer, because we're not running, because most people go up to the cottage, come into the makerspace and just do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So make an appointment. Come into the makerspace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and then other things uh, that are coming up, we've got summer reading that is launching on the Tuesday of next week. So if you are interested, come in. Uh, you get a game board. And every time you read, every day that you read, you get to put a sticker on the game board and you go all the way up. And every time you get to a multiple of 10, like 10, 20, 30, 40, this is for kids, by the way. I don't, I don't think adults can participate. School age kids, yeah. School age kids. Yeah. And younger. Well, adults, we have we have beanstack challenges. It's true. We do yeah. have beanstack challenges. Yeah. Anyway, there's a prize wheel for summer reading. Um, so every, every multiple of 10, you can come in, spin the prize wheel, win yourself a prize. If you get to the end of the board, you come in, you get special recognition. So that's pretty exciting. DD summer reading. Woo! Woo! So fun. Oh yeah. And how about volunteers? Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So the makerspace is currently looking for volunteers. volunteers. Currently, we're by appointment only. We don't have space for volunteers, but if the world stays the way that it does, we'll be open as we used to be in August, hopefully. So we're starting to ramp up our volunteer 
uh, people. We've had some amazing volunteers in the past, and some of them are available, and some of them aren't. So there's some spirits is opening up if anybody's interested. Yeah. So if you've been watching and you've been loving what we do here, um, I'll make an appointment, come into the makerspace. If you like it, maybe you'd also like to volunteer. And come in and hang out, do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We'll it's it's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's also some teen volunteer opportunities. Um, there's three different things you can apply for. You get your volunteer hours for doing them, but also they're really super fun and cool. Um, there's going to be a lip sync showdown. There's going to be a writers in residence mm -hmm. program. And there's going to be a library maker crew. And guess what they're doing? Can you guess? Are they making stuff? They're making something, yes. What are they making? They're making a Stratford-wide gaming adventure called... The Amazing Race. Oh, what? Yeah. Woo. So if you want to be part of creating the Amazing Race for families in Stratford, go to the website, find a volunteer application, apply, come to the library this summer. Be mm -hmm. amazing. Actually, the library is a really fun place to hang out all summer. It is actually. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we have air conditioning and air conditioning. endless entertainment in the form of books, movies, Computers, video games, video games, makerspace, magazines, ebooks, e yeah, 3D printers, audiobooks, seed library, 3D printer, vinyl cutter, graphic novels, graphic novels, <laughs> or comics. I just like to call them comics. Is that weird? I don't know. Graphical. Yeah. Books with really cool pictures and good stories. Yeah. 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 And that it, goes frame by frame. Frame by frame. <laughs> it's like nice. a movie in slow motion. Like you want more Star Wars? We got more Star Wars. Yeah, so much Star Wars. Yeah. You want to learn how to draw? You can find that in the library. Done. Yeah, so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's all we had today. What do you think? I think so too. What do you think, Ruby? <laughs> I can't really? believe so Furby slept honestly. through our entire show. So boring. I feel like Furby's used to be more fun. Maybe he's just getting old. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Good night, Furby. Good night, Furby. Good night, everybody. Good night, from Commander Data. <laughs> good night, Mr. Spur. All right. Thank you all for coming. Oh, uh, so this is our last episode, actually. Oh, shoot, it is. It is. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, if do we want to do this again sometime? I do this again sometime. Do you guys want to watch us do this again sometime? This is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to see it again, leave a note in the comments, and uh, we'll see what we can do, th do for the fall. And show ideas. Put in show ideas. Yeah, show ideas. <gasps> yeah. What do you guys want to see? What Let you, us know. What do you want me to make? What do you want that list to make? What can we make together? Yes. Done. All right. This was so fun. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay, bye! Oh, outro. Stay tuned for further instructions. This is not a test. One fish. Two fish, long fish, blue fish, humo humo nuku nuku wa a wa a a, humo humo nuku nuku wa pua a, from Hawaii. <laughs>